Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to give out the awards in the 2020 American Women Artists AWA Annual Exhibition Making Their Mark at the Booth Western Art Museum in Cartersville, Georgia, where the virtual exhibition is now on view on the websites boothmuseum.org and americanwomenartists.org. Making Their Mark is part of the American Women Artists 25 and 25 initiative, giving women artist members the opportunity to submit pieces to be juried into 25 major museum exhibitions in 25 years. Making Their Mark is the fifth in this series. Today, more than $40,000 in cash, merchandise, and several pages of magazine advertising will be awarded to 24 talented artists. Major sponsors of this exhibition include the Forward Arts Foundation in Atlanta, Georgia, and the exclusive Atlanta media partner, Atlanta Homes and Lifestyles Magazine. Exhibition benefactors include the family of Kathleen J. Smith, Wendy Conrad, a friend of AWA, a friend of the Booth Museum, Bill Jonas and Lisa Glime Jonas, Dr. Sahid Kanzarinia, and Dr. John Perry, Lane and Scott Kilburn, Mr. and Mrs. Raymond King, Diane and Bob Mason, Dr. and Mrs. David Owens, Carol Swinney, the Treshock family, Edmund S. Twining III, and many other fine sponsors you can see on the screen and recognize in the exhibition catalog, which can be viewed on both the AWA and Booth Museum websites. Catalogs can be ordered from the Booth Museum's Candace McNair store. We appreciate all of these sponsors for making both the virtual exhibition and this star-studded awards show possible. And a big thank you to the awards jurors, Krishanda Lee Perez, Catherine Javiera Huff, and Beth Wilson. Now, without further ado, please welcome the hosts of our show, the screening juror for this exhibition and director of curatorial services at the Booth Western Art Museum, Lisa Wheeler, along with the executive director of the Booth Museum, Seth Hopkins. Hello everyone and welcome to the Booth Western Art Museum. We're in the beautiful Bergman Theater here at the museum and we appreciate all of you tuning in from all over the world for this exciting day as we give out some awards for the American Women Artists Making Their Mark show here at the Booth Western Art Museum, which unfortunately is not here at the museum, but we're doing the best we can to bring it to you virtually. This exhibition saw 1,500 entries, which were juried down to 108 spots in the exhibition. So it's truly our honor to host this exhibition. And it was truly an honor to get juried into this exhibit, as you can see by those numbers. And the person who can tell you all about that is my co-host today, Lisa Wheeler, the Director of Curatorial Services here at the museum, had to look through all 1,500 of those to narrow it down to the show that you see online. Lisa, I'm assuming that was a really tough job. It was an incredibly tough job, Seth. I was so honored that American Women Artists asked me to be the initial juror for this exhibition. When I saw the entries for the first time, I was completely overwhelmed because I knew that so many, many, many more artists than the 113 that we had space for deserved to be recognized at a national level. It took 12 hours a day for three solid days to select the artwork for this exhibit. Here at the booth, our goal is to introduce as many of these artists as possible to the American public through this exhibition. Congratulations to you all. Thank you very much. And speaking of a lot of work, our curatorial staff has done an incredible job to the recent craziness we've all been experiencing, changing this exhibition from a real one and pivoting it to one in the virtual world at just the drop of a hat. So I'd like to add, add my thanks to uh, the curatorial staff working with Lisa and her group. And I'd like to also thank our wonderful sponsors that were mentioned earlier in the introduction for supporting this now as a virtual exhibition and this star-studded award ceremony. Woo! There are actually several options for viewing the exhibition right now on our website and on the AWA website as a flip book, as a walkthrough 3D experience, and throughout the exhibition we will be adding video content for many of the artists that you will see and hear from today 
as well as many others in the exhibition on Facebook, YouTube, and all over the virtual realm. This program that we're taping right now will also be shown on Facebook and or archived on Facebook and YouTube for posterity. Big thanks go out to the AWA chair, uh, executive directors, Robin Knowlton and Amanda Zimmerman. We couldn't have done it without them. They've been our partners from the very beginning and they've done Yeoman's work as well in flipping the switch on this exhibition to make it a great virtual experience for everyone involved. Now, without any further noise from me, let's give some awards. And we're going to do this fairly quickly. We don't want to keep you in too much suspense. We're going to start with awards of excellence. And there's going to be eight of those. And we're going to give out $250 cash prizes for each one of these. And we're going to work our way all the way up to the $10,000 grand prize coming up just a little later in our show. So Lisa, why don't you get us started with the first one of these awards of excellence. I'd love to, Seth. Award of Excellence number one is funded by Diane and Bob Mason for an outstanding two-dimensional work of art, and it goes to Winter is No Picnic Unless You're in Sunny Colorado. It's an oil by Shelley Smith, an associate member from Wisconsin. All right, back over to me. The envelope, please. Award of Excellence number two, $250 cash prize, also funded by Diane and Bob Mason for an outstanding three-dimensional work of art. And the award goes to Stephanie Revenaugh, an associate with Distinction member from Montana for her work presidents, Mo and Benson. Award of Excellence number three, a 250 cash award funded by a friend of AWA goes to She Stopped to Look Up, an oil by Heather Lynn Gibson, a signature member from New Jersey. Award of Excellence number four, a $250 cash prize funded by the AWA. And this one goes to Into Thin Air by Elizabeth Polly, master signature member from Michigan. Congratulations. Award of Excellence number five, a 250 cash award funded by AWA goes to Tango Oil by Terry Cook Hall, signature member from Montana. Congratulations. And opening the envelope on Award of Excellence number six, a $250 cash prize by AWA goes to an oil painting by Cynthia Fustel, signature member from Colorado called Imagining. Congratulations. An award of excellence number seven, a $250 cash award sponsored by AWA goes to Spring Creosote Blooms, an oil by Vanessa Rusick, signature member from California. And congratulations there as well. Award of Excellence, a winner number eight, last but not least, certainly also getting a $250 cash prize funded by AWA. It goes to Kathy Farrell, Skimming the Treetops, a signature member from Florida. Congratulations to Kathy and to all of our Award of Excellence winners in that portion of the show. Throughout this award ceremony, we're going to be announcing a few purchase awards from the Booth Western Art Museum. And that commotion you just heard is going to signal when we're going to give those out. These are works of art that the Curatorial Committee here at the Booth Western Art Muse Museum have deemed of such quality and distinction and in such alignment with our mission that they belong here in the Booth Western Art Museum's permanent collection. The first purchase award for the day goes to Janiel Anderson for Right Where I Want to Be. Now earlier this week we called Janiel to give her the news, but we did it in a little bit of a, a trick way. We called her and told her we were interviewing all the artists in the exhibition, and a little later on in the conversation we sprung the news on her. Let's take a look at that. I am Janiel Anderson, and me and my husband live on our cattle ranch 
in southern New Mexico. I help on the ranch, paint the other time that I have. Can you tell us the uh, can you tell us the title of the piece that was selected for the um, American Women Artists Show and your inspiration? Uh, maybe who who was the model for that one? The title of the painting is "Right Where I Want to Be," because this girl I've known her all her life. Her family has a ranch in Lordsburg, New Mexico. She's living a life that she loves and she's happy and that's just where she wants to live her life. Well, do you think she'd be okay living her life at the Booth Western Art Museum? Because we'd like to give the purchase award to that piece to be in our permanent collection. Oh, well, yes, she would be very pleased and, and so am I. <laughs> Well, and uh, she will be in the permanent collection with a couple of Jim Reynolds paintings, too, which is kind of cool. Since oh, nice. Yes, very nice. Very nice. He was a unique fellow, as you know, and a good friend. Now, we are on to the Memorial Awards, including the Francis Treshock Memorial Award of Excellence, which carries a $500 cash prize. It goes to Alleluia, an oil by Linda Glover Gooch, Master Signature Member from Arizona. Congratulations. Wow, what a wonderful piece and a great message for us today. Thank you for that. Up next is the Kathleen J. Smith Humanity and Art Award. It carries a $1,500 cash prize. And this year it goes to Helen Beecham, an associate member from South Carolina for the work briskly and with purpose. We could all use a little of that these days, couldn't we? We will now be presenting the Magazine Awards of Excellence, sponsored by many of the great art magazines that cover our part of the art world. The Art of the West Magazine Award includes a full page ad in that publication. It goes to Catch Me If You Can, Water Media by Linda Lotion, signature member from Colorado. Congratulations. Up next is the Fine Art Connoisseur Magazine Award, which also is for a full page ad in that wonderful publication. And the winner is Chris Kupinski, an associate with distinction member from Ohio for the watercolor entitled Caramel Apples. Are we going to have some of those later, I hope? Um, that, that looks good. Sure does. <laughs> because there were so many deserving entries, Fine Art Connoisseur is giving a second full page ad award. This one goes to Into the Light, an oil by Chula Beauregard, associate with distinction member from Colorado. Time to give out another Booth Museum Purchase Award. All right. This one goes to Star York for the sculpture Buffalo Gals. We were able to get in touch with Star at her home in Abiquiu, New Mexico, where she talked with us from her front porch, and then we surprised her. It was really when I took a class in high school that um, was for, it was an arts and crafts class, but the, the teacher really enjoyed doing lost wax casting. Anyway, I started with the, the, the casting in that class, wound up getting my own centrifugal caster, and um, was uh, uh, shown in a gallery in Chevy Chase, Maryland. Santa Fe had um, five major foundries in one town, so this was really the place for me to come. But Star, can you tell us about uh, what the title is and what your inspiration was for um, the piece that you've entered into the AWA exhibit? Yes, the title is Buffalo Gals, and it's a sculpture of uh, two cowgirls, um, one uh, human and the other is a little dog. 
that piece is going to stay at the Booth Museum and become part of our permanent collection. You're winning one of the purchase awards in the AWA show. Oh, fantastic. I'm so honored. <laughs> That's the best news I've heard today. <laughs> I thought, well, you know, this, what I tried to capture on the face of the woman was that can-do attitude, look on her face. She's facing something difficult, but very confident that she can do it. And that, to me, is a rep what AWA represents to me. I think we got her pretty good, Lisa. <laughs> I think so too. She was definitely surprised. <laughs> Up next in the awards, the Southwest Art Magazine Award, a half page ad award. And this goes to, open the envelope, a different perspective, watercolor by Kim Minicello, a signature member from Florida. That's got some color in it, Lisa. I like that pick. It does. And Western Art and Architecture is giving a full page ad as their award, and it goes to The Secret Keepers, a pastel by Lisa Glum, signature member from Georgia. And actually, we have a double dip here, Lisa. <clears throat> because not only did Lisa Glein win the Western Art and Architecture Award, she is receiving one of the Booth Western Art Museum Purchase Awards, That's as you know very well. Yes. And when we called her on the uh, Zoom phone, uh, she had a pretty cool reaction to the news, I think. Yes, but she did. Let's check that out. Tell us a little bit about yourself as an artist. Ah, uh, well, I'm a graduate of the Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts in Philadelphia, which is the oldest art school and museum in the country. Did children's portraits for the longest time and then uh, started doing more landscapes and uh, wildlife. Tell us the name of the piece um, and your, your inspiration. Uh, the title is The Secret Keepers. The bear is the all-knowing uh, deity and the Ravens are the ones keeping that secret. So I just kind of tied it all together. So uh, in reviewing the entries uh, for the exhibition, Lisa and I thought that bear needed something else too, in addition to what you were talking about. And that is a nice home. And so we're giving you okay. a purchase award from the Birth Museum so that the bear can come live with us at the museum. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Permanent collection at the Booth Museum. Oh, are you, oh my gosh, you've made. <laughs> are you serious? Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I can't even tell you. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me catch my breath. You have made, you've made my year. Oh my gosh, you've made my year. <laughs> <laughs> this is wonderful, wonderful news. Oh, I, I'm speechless. I am utterly speechless. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. So by the magic of television and the internet, Lisa only lives 45 minutes away from the theater, so we were able to get her out from under the quarantine order. It took a special declaration from the governor to allow her to be here, but uh, she is here to participate in our star-studded awards ceremony. So please welcome up to the stage Lisa Guan, who's going to say a few words on behalf of all the artists who couldn't be here and the show committee and everybody else who's been involved from AWA. Well, first of all, I'd like to thank both Seth and Lisa for your outstanding work in changing our show under these crazy times and really making all of the artists and the board feel like this is still a special uh, event. Um, on behalf of the board of directors and all of the artists, uh, winners and exhibitors, this is one of the highest honors, especially for me, and I am extremely grateful, and I look forward to visiting the museum on a regular basis to visit my bear. So thank you so much to both of you, and thank you to the Booth Museum. Well, and thank you and all the artists who participated and have hung in there with us with it changing from real to virtual, and and all the support that they've given us as well. And this might be an apropos moment to mention that all of these pieces are for sale 
Except, yes. for, except for the ones that we already bought. Those aren't for sale anymore. Correct. But uh, check these out and see if you can't find one you love that you need to take home like we did. Sounds good. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. All right, Lisa, welcome back. And now we're entering the upper echelon of the awards, the Distinguished Achievement Awards that are given in several categories, including landscape, figurative works, still lives, and sculpture. Up first, the Distinguished Achievement Award in the area of landscape, seascape, or cityscape. And it carries a $1,000 first prize. Drum roll. And the winner is Lynette Cook, associate with distinction member from California for an acrylic entitled A Moment in Time. The Distinguished Achievement Award for figurative work or portraiture in either painting or sculpture carries a $1,000 cash award and it goes to our friend Emmanuel Oil by Carol Tucker associate with distinction member from North Carolina. It's already time to announce another Booth Museum Purchase Award. This one is special to me because I have something in common with the winner. It goes to Claudia Hartley for Western Homestead. You'll see what I mean in the video. A little bit about yourself and uh, your, what you're known for as a painter. I like to go out to the landscape out here in the West and see the beauty of the creation and abstract it. So, and that's what I teach. It's what I paint. Very cool. Tell them what university you attended. I understand you and I, Lisa, went to the same university, University of Georgia. There you go. <laughs> oh, dogs. Woof, woof, woof. Woof, woof, woof. Um, Claudia, can you tell us uh, what is the title of the painting and what was your inspiration for it? So this was a, an actual scene I saw in the Sedona area. And there was a house, but I don't know for sure that it was a homestead. I got you. <laughs> well, it's a Western homestead now, but do you think it would like a home in the East? Never know. <laughs> well, we'd like, we'd like to put it in the permanent collection of the Booth Western Art Museum and make it one of our Purchase Award winners for the show. You're serious? Really? Wow, that would be very cool. Lisa, that was a pretty cool connection between you and Claudia. You actually took some of the same classes from the same professors. That's, that's right. The, the famous one we all took was called Art in the Dark, and we would draw for two hours in the dark and then there that there was that occasion when they strapped charcoal to our feet and we got to draw like that too a lot of fun art in the dark is that what they're calling it now <laughs> all right the next distinguished achievement award is for still life this is a thousand dollar cash prize as well and the winner is speaking of charcoal this is a charcoal pastel and chalk by carmen drake associate member from North Carolina, and it is called Forsaken. Congratulations. And the Distinguished Achievement Award in Sculpture includes, it includes a thousand dollar cash award and it goes to Twilight Stars of Bronze by Carol Allman, signature member from Arizona. And now, for our final Booth Museum Purchase Award, we will hear about the miracle behind the painting Sunset Sunburst by Diane Ehrenberg, which we are honored to be adding to the permanent collection. I started out in interior design in college, but I took as many art classes, uh, ceramics, uh, jewelry. When my kids were little, then I started taking workshops from people whose work I admired and I've just been painting ever since. Went to a painting workshop at Ghost Ranch with a couple of friends. We took the train 
from Milwaukee to um, Lamy, New Mexico, and rented a car and drove up to Ghost Ranch. And the second we drove in the drive there, I, my soul knew it was home. Can you tell us the title and um, your inspiration for the piece that you put into the uh, AWA show? The, the title of the piece over my shoulder is called Sunset Sunburst. It's an oil painting um, that I started uh, a couple of years ago, um, but it was um, interrupted for cancer treatment for a number of years. And when I finally got back to my studio and felt like painting again, again I looked up at it and thought, it's your time. And so uh, I got it down and finished it. and. Um, I think the piece has soul. Well, Lisa and I uh, both agree that we could definitely feel the soul in this piece. And because of that, we're going to give you a purchase award to the Booth Western Art Museum. And it's going in the permanent collection. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. Oh, my goodness. I'll have to come visit it. Well, the, the backstory um, is a miracle. I... I I do like to say that I'm a miracle and I'm, I'm happy to share that story with everybody. Such a cool story behind that painting and we're really glad to have it here at the museum. Very exciting for all involved. And especially that she's gonna drive it out and deliver it here to the museum. So yes. that'll be neat. Yes. We'll get to meet one more AWA artist. That's right. <laughs> Hopefully that'll be sooner rather than later. Well, now is the moment we've all been waiting for, and that's the announcement of the $10,000 grand prize. But we're not going to announce it now. What? That's what it says here. What do you mean we're not going to announce it now? It says in the script we're going to announce all the awards today. Well, it seems that uh, Robin and Amanda beat us to the punch. And oh. last week they called the winner on a Zoom call. And they had a little fun with her, just like we did with some of the award winners of the Booth Purchase Awards. And so let's see what that looks like as the artist introduces themselves and Amanda drops the bomb on her. Hi, I'm Carrie Waller. I am a, an associate member of AWA. I'm a watercolor artist. I'm currently living at Yokota Air Base, which is right outside of Tokyo, Japan, um, with my active uh, duty Air Force husband, but my home state is Illinois. What ways has traveling and living abroad influenced your work? I think in unexpected ways sometimes, uh, like these more recent, the painting that is in AWA, I didn't even realize uh, Japan is very sensory overload with all the lights and the signs and that popped up in that painting. So I think um, even though I paint still life painting where I live and the colors, I've never, I've now a huge fan of that orange red color that, you know, is all over Japan. The real reason we have you on this call is that you won the $10,000 grand prize award at AWA's Making Their Mark show hosted by the Booth Museum. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Congratulations. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you guys. <laughs> You're going to make me cry. <laughs> How do you feel about winning this award? I'm, I'm humbled and I can't believe it and in shock <laughs> <laughs> and appreciative. I just, you know, I mean, all these things that validate you that you're on the right track. Do you want to say a few more words about Abundance, your artwork that is in the show that just won $10,000? <laughs> 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 I'm so glad I painted it because when I was looking at it and doing those reference photos, I thought, this is crazy. People are going to think I'm out of my mind. There was so much going on in that painting, and um, I'm really glad I did that. <laughs> there will be more in that series now. <laughs> Seth and I add our congratulations to Carrie on winning the grand prize. What an incredible painting. Absolutely, and what a cool story to uh, be in Japan. Uh, with her husband and still be participating in the American Women Artists. So we'd like to congratulate all the winners 
of all the awards and each and every artist who was in the exhibition. As we said earlier, less than 10% of the entries were juried in, making this such a spectacular show for us here at the Booth Museum. Thanks again to all of our sponsors, to the AWA leadership, the folks here at the Booth who made this event possible given the current circumstances, and thanks for joining us today. Please stay healthy and safe, and when it's safe to do so, we hope you'll come visit us here at the Booth Western Art Museum. Good day. And on behalf of your friendly announcer, Tim Newton, publisher of Western Art and Architecture magazine, congratulations to all involved in this landmark project and much continued success to the Women Artists of America, its members, and the Booth Western Art Museum. Thank you very much.